The records released by Atlanta police show that the officer who shot and killed Rayshard Brooks in the parking lot of this Wendy's restaurant on Friday was disciplined before after another incident involving a gun and use of force in 2017. 27-year-old Garrett Rolfe kept his job. Hold on, Ms. Brooks. Will you take a preliminary breath test for me? Is it yes or no? I don't want to refuse anything. I it's yes or no. It's completely up to you. This was how his interaction with Brooks began last Friday night. The two men happened to be the same age. Rolf and Officer Devin Brosnan suspect that Brooks was driving drunk, and what starts off as a DUI turns into a fight when Brooks refuses to be arrested. Stop fighting! You're going to get You're going to get Stop! He was able to wrestle a stun gun away from the police, and when he reaches back and points it towards the now former officer, Rolf fires three shots. Brooks died at the hospital. Lawyers for his family say that the shooting was not justified, arguing that the police taser that he was pointing at the officer was not a deadly weapon. I've had cases where officers have used tasers on victims and they argue with us in court that tasers aren't deadly. But just two weeks ago, the same district attorney who is now deciding on criminal charges came out and said that tasers were deadly here when Atlanta police were seen on live television using them on two students during a night of violent protests. Six officers were charged. As many of you all know, under Georgia law, a taser is considered as a deadly weapon under Georgia law. Police across the city argue that if a police stun gun was deadly then, then it should equally be considered deadly here, justifying this shooting. Atlanta fire officials tonight are stepping up their search for alleged arsonists who burned the Wendy's restaurant down. There were multiple suspects, and they say this woman is one of them. We're outside that burned down Wendy's where the peaceful protest continues. The Fulton County District Attorney could deliver charges on this case as soon as tomorrow. The possible charges include aggravated assault, murder, felony murder, or possibly no charges at all.